I'm tallying up all my likes on Instagram. Seriously? What is up everyone? In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Instagram Graph API to get data on a post. Things like the like count, comment count, thumbnail, video, link to the post itself. Things like the like count, the comment count, the caption, a link to the Instagram posts, and so on. By the end of this video, we're going to have a web page where we get the post data and dump it out on the page. Here you see I have my data array. It's giving me back the caption, comment count ID, and all of this good stuff for the post. Then down here uh, with just some HTML, I'm actually going to dump out the video, the thumbnail to the video as well, the like count, here's the caption, comment count, and the link to it on Instagram. I open this up, there it is. Everything you see here in this post on Instagram, we have gotten with the Instagram Graph API for that post. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna download my blog code repository from GitHub. In this repository, we're gonna hop into the Instagram Graph API folder. Here, I'm gonna create a new folder called Docs. I'm gonna open that folder, and inside this folder, I'm going to create an IG underscore media PHP file. Open up that PHP file along with the defines file. And the only thing we're going to be using in this defines file is the access token. The rest you don't need to worry about. Those are for some of the other tutorials, such as getting an access token. So if you don't know how to get an access token, go check out that video. And then we place that access token right here. Then in our IG media file, we can include our defines file. And now we have our access token. Let's head over to the Facebook documentation. So what we're looking at here is the documentation for IG media, which is a post. It's a photo, video, story, album, or IGTV media. Reels aren't supported. We're going to focus on the reading, which means we're going to do a get request, specify the media ID, and then the fields that we want to get back for that post. Some limitations here, nothing really to worry about there. And here's the requirements. Here's where we require the user access token. Now this token needs to have these permissions on it. The Instagram basic, the pages read engagement, the pages show list, and then a few others, but only if you were granted the role uh, via the business manager, which I'm not. So I'm just, I just need an access token with these three permissions. Here's the request syntax. Our fields are an access token are the only two things we're going to be passing. The access token, we just went over that. And the fields is a comma separated string of the fields you want to get back. And then here is all the fields that we can get back. We can get back the caption, caption of the posts, the comment count, ID, Instagram ID, is comment enabled, indicates if comments are enabled or not for the post. The like count, media product type, media type, carousel, image or video, media URL, the owner, which is the ID of the Instagram user who created the media, Permalink, which is a link to the post on Instagram. Short code, thumbnail URL, if it's a video, it will have a thumbnail, timestamp, username, and video title if it's an IGTV media. Now, to get an access token, I already have one, but I'm just going to show you guys here quickly. If you want, you can go over to developers.facebook.com, hit the more, and go to tools. And we're going to hit the Graph API Explorer here. I can paste my access token and it will tell you which app it is for and it will tell you the permissions that this access token has. We need, I need an Instagram basic read engagement and show list. And you see I have show list, Instagram basic, and pages read engagement. So this access token will work for this endpoint here. So I place that access token right here where it says your access token here. Save that and now we're good to go. I'm going to begin by defining the endpoint syntax. We're going to copy this right out of the docs so we have it for reference. Then we're actually going to define our endpoint. Our endpoint is going to be everything up until the variables. So now we need an ID for our media. Now to get a media ID, I'm going to hop over to my blog code, Instagram Graph API, paging.php. On this page, we get media for the user and we dump out the response down here, which has the IDs for each of the media. If you want to watch the tutorial on this paging.php, go check out my Instagram Graph API paging tutorial. But for this video, we're just focusing on getting data for one post. I'm going to pick the ID right here, and I'm going to replace it right here. Now we define our parameters. And the only parameters we have is fields and access token. We have access token because it's in our defines file. And the fields we're going to specify are 
these right here that we went over. I'm going to request all of them. In our code, it's a comma separated string just like this. Then we want to make our API call. I'm going to open up my paging.php file and I'm just going to use the same make API call. It's basically a curl call specifying the endpoint and the parameters. Pretty straightforward. Paste that in here under our response and I am going to modify this return to be an array. I'm basically just going to return everything so we can dump this stuff easily out on the page at the end. We're going to return the type, the endpoint, the parameters passed in, the actual endpoint, which we need to define right up here. And this is just the URL here, so we'll bring this right up here, and we'll, we'll replace that with the variable. And then the data, which is the response from Instagram. Before we go any further, I'm going to print out the response just to make sure it's correct and there's no errors. Hopping over to our Instagram Graph API docs folder, here's our IG media. Going to click on that and we should see our data for our post. There it is, we got everything back that we asked for. Now we'll just do some simple HTML here. We're going to give our page a title. And then the first thing in the body we want to echo out is the endpoint syntax. Then we're going to dump out the actual response. Response heading and then just dump out the response and some pre-tags. We know this post is a video, so let's create a video tag for it. Our poster is going to be the poster for the video, which is in our response data thumbnail URL. Then we have our source. The source is the media URL. Let's check that out. We have our heading, our response dumped out, and our thumbnail is there, and our video is also there. Next up is our likes count. Also in our data, but it's called like count. Space likes. Underneath our like count, we need to display our username. We simply update this to username. I get rid of the likes there, of course, and under our username, we want to display out the caption. And to preserve spaces and line breaks, we're going to do nl2br function. Then we can display the comments, the comment count, I should say. Change this to comments, and this would be comments count. Under the comments, we're going to create an a tag, and we're going to say view on Instagram. Open in a new window, target equals blank. And for this, our href is data permalink. Now let's refresh our page one more time, scroll to the bottom, and looks like everything is displaying out correctly. Like count, the username, caption, comments, and the link. Click on the link, we get taken to Instagram to the exact same post. Well, that is going to wrap this video. That is an overview of how you can get data on your Instagram post and all the available fields as well. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.